Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and today we're going to be working on a community wool farm. Medic, hanging out over there in the woods, has been very helpful in getting a few things together. So uh, let's unmute and say hello. Howdy, howdy. So... Uh, we, we were we were talking about what to do for today's episode, and I know that we're going to need a fair amount of wool. It's one of those things that we don't need a lot of right away, but when we need a bunch of it, we usually need a bunch of it. And by we, I actually mean me, because um, I, I use the wool for a lot of my redstone. Uh, it is probably one of the best blocks to put your redstone components and whatnot on, because uh, the color coding helps you keep stuff straight. And you can't accidentally instamine it with uh, an efficiency tool and a uh, haste beacon. So uh, it, it is very good for preventing accidental destruction. And all that good fun stuff. What we need to do now is figure out where we're going to put this thing. And I'm going to need to run back to the house. Because uh, I, I forgot a couple of things. It's that short term so I guess thing. It's I guess the question is, uh, does Reyes consider this agriculture? <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that was one of the things that I was wondering. I was actually tempted to just, you know, le build it over there uh, where all the sheep are right now, just because that, that puts them in uh, the same general place. I'll lead you. There we go. Um, oh, <laughs> And I almost forgot to mention for those on the live stream, if you didn't catch uh, Monday's episode, there's the iron farm and why I'm more than happy to start building the sheep farm because uh, I'm not worried about iron for shears now. And uh, that is Reyes' AFK space because she wanted iron. It is temporary, she promises us. <laughs> All right, let's get this uh, down... All right, so what did I say I needed? I needed the grass blocks and there was something else. Uh, how are mm -hmm. we on glass over there? I know we're gonna need that. I, I'm gonna need, oh, I need uh, the glowstone lamps too. I will head back over to my little hole and check, but I'm pretty sure I got two, maybe three full stacks of glass. Ooh, nice, good. Because we're going to need a fair bit of it. And I'll bring some glass of my own. Actually, I take that back. I have six full stacks because I uh, smelted them before I left today. Oh. Or, no, three full better. stacks. Um, where did I put my glass? Oh, uh, this is why a storage system is very, very close by on my uh, <laughs> list of things to do. All right, glowstone. We've got the quartz and the redstone. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab another stack of that while I'm here. Um, we'll get iron out of the farm. All right. I had a bunch of glass. Oh, I think I put it back in the community storage when I finished with the uh, glass top on the iron project. That's well, I'm right over here, so I'll check. Okay. And I know I know I used some of the glass in the iron project, so it's probably less than twenty. But um, so the. I want to get 16 small-scale wool farms put together, and I want to do a couple of different things. Um, I'd like to get storage indicators if I could, if it looks like we can do it with space. You know, get a little redstone lamp that lights up when that box is full, that kind of thing. And... Uh, regardless of the light, what I definitely want to do is I definitely want to get it set up such that when the storage boxes are full, it turns the farm off. 
I, I, do, I don't want it generating tons and tons of, uh, I, oh, bloody oath. Here's the glass. It's over in my donkey. <laughs> I've got quite a bit of it myself, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I, I definitely want to, I want to get this as automated as I can to include an off switch. One of my goals for this season was to make sure that everything possible had an off switch. Um, the only reason why I didn't put one into the iron farm is because the last time I turned an iron farm off, all our vill villagers disappeared. And I, I really, I, that, that was no fun the first go around. I don't want to do it again if they fall out again. But I'm also not sure if that's because of a, uh, a weird um, spawning glitch or something else along those lines. So, all right, that's all the glass I have. I've got more smelting. Nice. All right, um, and so to do this, I'm probably going to need at least three comparators per, which means we're going to need stone. Do we have stone? Mm, that I'm not sure of, and I know I don't have much in my uh, inventory, but I do have a silk touch pickaxe that I can go grab more. Yeah, so do I. All right, let's uh, let's grab a little bit of what we got out of community storage so far, and um, and then we'll go from there. I also got to make sure that we leave space to make it pretty. Um, also, <laughs> so you know, uh, we need to uh, we need to make sure that we put this in proper chromatic order. Otherwise, Rast will have things to say. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be the one to listen to it if we don't. No, nah, I plan on letting you do the leading of the sheep. So, so we we tend to. So we're gonna have to dust off our uh, Rory B give. <laughs> All right. Oh, where do we want to put this? Let's level this off here. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and unlike uh, some of the other stuff that I've built, I want to kind of try to puzzle this one off on my own. I know I know somebody's going to look at that and go, oh, that's just like so-and-so did it. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're automating the shearing of sheep. There's not a whole lot of, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of different ways to shear a sheep. But I would like to actually try to, I, I think this is in my uh, current skill level to puzzle this one out without having to necessarily follow a uh, tutorial of sorts or even customize well, yeah. an existing tutorial. You know, the beautiful thing is, is that most of those farms are all the same. It's just the way you decorate them afterwards. It's really uh, to different. A, to a certain extent for a lot of them, yeah. Uh, yeah I've, seen, I've seen a lot of different variations on the iron farms. Uh, same basic mechanics at play. But the way they go about implementing them are very different. But with the iron farm, you also get very different results uh, from that. I need grass blocks. I want to finish leveling this out. Hmm. 
where can I start, uh, where can I pillage to? Feel free to take grass blocks or any other thing that you need uh, from anywhere around my little hobbit hole because I've actually found me a new place to uh, build at now. Oh, really? Which, yeah, I will be starting uh, starting my videos here shortly with the new place. Sweet. And, um, yeah. Yep, so this whole area is... I I'm not staying here, obviously. Yeah. Um, so you can pillage whatever you need. Of course. Uh, after, oh, that's right. You were AFK for that incident. Uh, I'm not sure I want to use the word pillage. Um, yeah, I was, but I've heard Did you about hear it. about that? Did Arcadius tell you about that? <clears throat> yeah, Arcadius stopped by yesterday and uh, okay. was telling me all about it. And I was so <laughs> glad because I only have five deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, for I mentioned it in the in the video that went live on Monday, but uh, for the people in the audience who don't know what happened, Rayest saw a pillager patrol and goes, "Oh, I can get the villagers to love me, and then we'll get better trades. You know, we'll get the free stuff and better trades." <laughs> and she she set off a raid. How um, did that work out? We're we're all in iron armor. You know, we've got some weakly enchanted swords at best. Like, I, I think I only had sharpness one at the time, and, and it's really not that much better right now. I mean, I've got sharpness two and looting and mending now. Ooh, you know, quite the uh, high artifact there. <laughs> and, and, yeah, so um, we, we had about 60 to 70 deaths each. As we tried desperately, desperately to to turn aside this raid, and yeah, <laughs> we, we we went through all the spare armor, all the spare weapons, all the spare anything. If it could be spared, it was gone through. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. I missed that. You know, and, and there's medic in his little hidey hole over by the pumpkin farm. <laughs> <laughs> logged in probably got the achievement for hero of the village now that I think about it you know what I haven't even checked <laughs> yeah no I'm, I'm checking right now if I can remember how to check them oh yeah Short-term memory, something or other. Can't remember what it's called, though. Yeah, and then she goes running around, and because they didn't immediately toss the free stuff at her, she's all mad at the villagers, like, I just saved you. Where's my free stuff? Like, you gotta give him a minute. Okay, this is really odd. I seriously what? can't remember how to how to check the achievements. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. I think. Yeah, advancements. That first one, the vanilla tweaks, shows you what uh, data packs we have turned on, and it does give a useful description of what each one does. Um, is here the village? No, that's what a deal. Old Betsy. Sweet dreams, adventuring time. Yep, it, it should be on the uh, adventure tab with a little piece of paper up at the top. Oh, right after voluntary exile. Uh, nope, I do not have it. Uh oh. Is it because you didn't uh, participate? Probably because I didn't participate, yeah. Or is it because you were far enough away from the action? Because it all, it all centered around the trading hall. Then I was, I was close enough. Hmm. It's probably just because I didn't participate in it. 
Yeah, that's possible. All right. I'm just trying to flatten out this terrain. Oh, and if you've got uh, three gold ingots and an iron ingot, you can get that uh, red... Oh, that's what I forgot. Arr, I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot my wrench back at the base. You know what I miss? Having an ender chest with all this sort of stuff, you know, just chilling there ready for you. Well, I can make one. I, I had the three ingots, the three gold ingots and the iron ingot, but it... The recipe didn't show up, and I don't know the recipe. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna automatically show up. Um, there there might be a way to do that, but I don't know if vanilla I don't think vanilla tweaks has uh, implemented that. Uh, but basically, you put um, you get to, oh oh. Speaking of patrols, hi guys. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, and, and you're chasing uh, me. Give oh, a there's second. a lot of you chasing me. Uh, I has milk. I, I do I'm too, coming. but what I what what I need is help. I'm I, coming. I think half of them Where are going to kill each other before they kill me. Where you at? <laughs> Over by the sheepies. Oh, good. I'm good. coming. They killed their own banner guy. Let me pick that up before you do. Oh, come on, come on, die! Oh, oh. Did you get them all? Yes, because uh, in between <laughs> in between when that happened and now, uh, I've upgraded to uh, protection four armor. That helped a lot. <laughs> that helped immensely. That went way different than the last <laughs> than the last go around. <laughs> All right, I got you a bunch of a bunch more stone. Okay, because I, I grabbed a couple of stacks from the uh, community storage. Ooh, a black I have arrow. Absolutely, I have no storage space. Okay, when you get to a okay. um, crafting grid... Uh, a three mm -hmm. by three crafting grid on a table. You're mm -hmm. gonna put the iron ingot in the bottom left, and then you're gonna make a C in the top right corner with the gold. So it looks well like a wrench. Do I have yeah. to have the book on me? Uh, yeah, so it should be an iron ingot in the bottom left, gold in uh -huh. the center, gold mm -hmm. in the top center, and gold mm -hmm. in the center right. And then mm -hmm. you'll see a little green book off to the right that'll say wrench, and when you pull it out of the... It, it'll turn into an actual wrench wrench. Uh, nope. I guess I have to have that book on me. No, you, you don't. Um. Well, here. Uh, let's see. There's no, those. No, uh, you need ingots. Ingots, not nuggets. Ah, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you said nugget. No, 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 no. Ingots. Oh, oh. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Uh, by the way, can I thank you publicly for this bow as I start sniping these creepers away? Uh, you're welcome. Because that's, uh, that's how you lose a forest. <laughs> two, three, one, two, three. All right, at some point we'll get to the actual building in this thing. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. 
figure this out. All right, and can you trade uh, wrenches? No, you cannot. Oh, well, I mean, you can give them to people, like, but nobody's gonna. None of the villagers are gonna trade them. Well, no, no, no. I, I just made. I made two, so you don't have to go back to your house. Oh, awesome. I, I'm probably gonna end up with about eight or ten of them by the end of the season, because that's how it usually goes. At least until we get shulker boxes and ender chest everywhere. Hey. Oh yeah, these things are great. Um, you right click on redstone and glazed terracotta and it will rotate them out. Sweet, uh, I have anything to pick up with some a, glazed terracotta today. Anything with a uh, storage area, you are going to have to shift and right click though. All right, so let's do this. Let's see. If I wanted to do that, we do that, and we do that, and I need iron. Only we had mm. one source of iron. <laughs> yeah, that might be a little hard to come by. Yeah, no. All right, let me put those in there for now. Put that in there for now muttering to myself yeah so I finished this uh, Sunday night no Sunday 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 morning afternoon and we're already two boxes full and starting work on the third and that is before we even get to uh, that that's I pulled a bunch of iron to get emeralds from the villagers. Rayest and Arcadius have been pulling a bunch of iron to get emeralds from the villagers. Well, that doesn't count all the uh, full stacks in the hoppers behind those chests because you don't have those those hoppers locked off. So it's filling up the hoppers yeah. too. Oh yeah. Uh, but that's a hopper behind each chest. That's not too, too much in the grand scheme of things. No, it's still five more stacks that you don't actually see. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to need some hoppers. Do you have chests? Yeah, I'm starting to build the first of what I hope will be several... Uh, the first of what I hope will be 18 stations over here. So I can at least get the basic design down. And then um, if we got time, we'll build them all. If not, then uh, then we'll just build them between was, now and now and next week. Uh, I was going to do some wood harvesting if you need wood for chest. Yes. Yes. Alrighty. Um, I've already got a little bit of spruce, so if that's what's nearby and easy to get a hold of, that would be the best. Well, it just so happens that I know this guy who uh, has several very large spruce trees in his front yard. Oh, really? Yeah, so let me go pay him a visit. What am I missing? Oh, I am so absent-minded today. I know, I know, not just today. Let's start with those guys. So uh, this I need to come come off here. Too bad you can't make chests out of bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Give me the wool. Or did you already? 
my inventory is full. So when that hopper fills up, we'll get a signal here, which will power that block, which will turn on that lamp. Um, now I just need to route another signal in a different color. signal off we need a dot of redstone um, daylight to last longer yeah, that would be nice. I can do the sleeping though. Okay, good. I'm right. I'm right over here by my bed. Come here, little gray sheep. Oh, uh, so I forgot to tell you. That mm -hmm. I, well, first off, the community portal, uh, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, I, Every I, time I noticed that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when, when you go I, in I, I there. Am acute, I am acutely aware of that. <laughs> um, and I made sure that, that my little portal down here was destroyed. Uh, so yep. there shouldn't be anything that uh, is my, causing to do that. Uh because of where the lava lake is, all the portals end up going to there as the safest place. That's why we're not getting a good send and return. We'll, we'll have to go uh. in with some coordinates. And because I didn't have a um, an appropriate uh, pick at the time, it really wasn't worth... Uh... What am I doing wrong with this thing? Well, I did link the portal uh, in the nether that you go to from our community portal. I linked that to the portal at my new mountain resort. Um, so those two are linked now. And in my travels down there during that, during that linking session, I found a fortress. Oh. Nice. And and I dug us a or I made us a path to safely get to the top of that fortress. So now we can travel to and from the fortress without worrying about giant marshmallows throwing fireballs at us. <laughs> well, that's not right either. definitely got to go there. That way that gets lit and not that one. Which would mean that should go there.
I'm not going to be able to get anything on top of that guy to just draw a signal across there. So, what are you working on? Am I... I'm trying to do the storage silo lighting, but um, I feel like I'm missing something. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. I've never done that myself. <laughs> um, I, I've seen it done a million and two times, but I've never actually done it myself. Yeah, I'm not fully up to the whole uh, <laughs> redstone stuff yet. I'm still learning redstone, but I'm doing a pretty decent job yeah. of making things pretty, I guess. Or I'm trying yeah, to. Uh, you're, you're definitely going to have to build the outside of this when we get to that part. <clears throat> that I don't mind. Man, I can't. I can't shake this feeling like I'm missing something blindingly, stupidly obvious. That's going to pull a signal from the hopper, so that way when the hopper starts collecting items, it turns on it. Pulls a signal, which powers that. Which is going to power this redstone dot. And somehow we're going to get a signal over there. Um, is that it? No, because that's not going to be enough to power that right there. Is that it right there? And don't bother. I think we have yeah, seems a little more than more enough chests. Than... Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> All right. All right, while I'm over here, why don't you explain what it is that you're, how you're doing that, so I can kind of get a visual of it. All right, so I'm going to try to set it up so that way we have two double chests of storage under each sheep station. Because uh, if we need more than two double chests worth of wool at any given point in time, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Or horribly right, I'm not sure. Depends on how you view things, I guess. And so we've got our two chests stacked over here. And there's a lamp next to each of them. In the back, we've got comparators pulling a signal off of the hopper in the back. So in other words, uh, when that bottom chest fills up and we start collecting items in that hopper behind the bottom chest, it'll light up the lamp next to the bottom chest so we'll know the bottom chest is full. 
And then when the second box collects enough to get the to start backing items into the second hopper, then the second lamp will turn on. So that way we'll okay. know the second box is full. Then the next thing to do is to get another hopper. And that's going to be the input into this one. So we're going to build... Ooh. Maybe that's not going to be the input. Maybe the input's going to be right next to it. Yeah. All right, so if we're doing two double chests per, and you know, we've got 16 different colors, then I still need more chests. So yep. more wood. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> no, just going to go get some more, more wood, plant some more trees, sustaining life. All right, let's grab... I'll leave the decorations up to you. Yeah, I'll take care of that part. You just, you just get it running. All right. I need a different color to keep everything squared away. There we go. Because that white wool is the one for this, and actually, if I really wanted to do this right. I would do that. Oh, bed. Oh. Let me get... It says I can only sleep in... Oh, there we go. Sweet dreams. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on with my iron door. I keep getting caught on it. Uh, what kind of button are you using? Just regular wood button. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say, if you're using a stone button, switch to a wood button. Because the delay is a little bit uh, longer on a wood button. I will double check that because I'm I think I have a wood button. But I have been known to throw a stone up there before. I'll check it. So we should have quite a lot done by the time this comes back. That is the hope. That is the hope. Alright, so if my hopper minecart stays there, so we'll do that. this too close to the forest, but that's okay. It can be our template. Because what I'm hoping to do, because all, all you really need is you need an observer to, um, you need that. I need to finish my thought. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All you need is, uh, hmm, to finish your thought, uh, 
Now, you need an observer to watch the grass block that the sheep is going to eat. You need grass blocks around the gra the one that the sheep is on, so that way they can actually uh, recover or replenish the uh, the grass. Let me get some of this stuff out of my inventory and in here. Now we definitely have more than enough. More than enough lumber? Or, oh, chests? Yeah. Here I am complaining about how I can't figure out how to get back up there. And Oh yeah, I got an inventory full of scaffolding. Absent-minded. Absent-absent-minded. Alright, I need... a dropper. But with a bow. For my dispenser. Oh, do you have enough of those? And what am I missing for the observer? Oh, the quartz. Quartz smooth? Um. Oh, do I not have enough uh, dust then? There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I needed... Okay. I needed two redstone dust, not one. <clears throat> Alright, so... Um... You can go there for now. Actually, I don't need that there. I can do that right there. So he is going to watch there. Dispense there. Um, rail. I need to rail against some rail. You need rails? Uh, just one, actually. No, we got some over here. Oh, yeah, we got... Wow, you guys have accumulated quite a bit. <laughs> Good. Don't, don't, uh... Don't, <laughs> don't... Just... Be careful when, uh, Rhea starts talking about the, uh, community rail system. Because she found out that the 1.14 update introduced the ability to, uh, put rails on glass... And she has been absolutely obsessed with the idea of building the next community rail system on glass. Like having a glass rail station everywhere. So, uh, fair warning. And where's this desert that we're allowed to take sand from? Because we can't take it from the one close to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Because, uh, yeah... That, that 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 rail station is definitely going to happen. And oh, I need. What am I missing? My head. Um. Oh, iron. The irony. I need a hopper and a minecart. So I can get a hopper minecart. And I need a piston. How does my inventory get so messy all of this all the time? Because here's what we're going to do. So we get our storage lights going. And what uh, what I'm hoping to do 
is pull a signal off of this input hopper so that way when it starts filling up it'll power this block and I'm hoping I can use that as a platform for locking the dispenser because uh, we're gonna put a hopper minecart here we're going to break the rail and then <laughs> I need grass blocks I I need my brain so this build is it going to be up in the air like this or are you just building this the the right. raw or look at anyone dig I, in? I was hoping to get a template and then figure out where we were going to put it we might have to shuffle some sheep around um, I, I didn't realize it was going to start bumping into the acacia trees over here. Oh, well, I can make the acacia trees disappear. <laughs> Bet you can. But I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of that just yet. Oh, and here's why I love the wrench. Instead of trying to figure out how to do all the weird geometry, you just. Rotate. There we go. That's how I wanted it. Bam. So we've got a hopper minecart stuck inside that grass block. So it'll pick up whatever drops on top of it and uh, save us a little bit of space. We can then get our observer going that way. So he's going to watch that grass block, and whenever something changes on the grass block, he'll fire off a little redstone signal, which will then link up to that guy right there. And I think we'll only need to put a dot there? That's the part I can't quite remember. Um... And we'll get some glass. Now we'll put a trapdoor on top so that way we need to, we can get at the sheep if we need to. Ooh, okay, so you're going to use at least 16 pieces of glass per. Yeah. Okay, so I may need I may have to go to a desert and give us some more sand and start smelting because I I used all the sand that I had and almost all the sand in the community center. Um, are we really that short on glass? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven Eight. stacks. Six, 12, 14, 14 times 16. Yeah, it's going to be 224. That's if, uh, that's not counting the ones that you want to color. Yeah, so that's just going to be like three and a half stacks. Okay. Yeah, so this, this should be the basic idea. Ooh. Without the, without the hurting. So we just need to build this 16 times and, you know, maybe we'll leave a little space in between for decorations. Uh, but the idea is that the sheep will be in the one block there. He'll only have access to that center block, the one that the observer is observing. So when he eats the grass, his wool will re-glow, re-grow, re which will trigger the dispenser with a pair of shears inside. The shears will trim his little woolly self, and uh, 
then he'll stay there until that grass block grows back and he eats the grass and rinse repeat. Um, I would like to do this in such a way that we could actually run a hopper line in like maybe a U, so do a row of eight and then a row of the other eight around the other side with the backs facing each other. Mm -hmm. So that way we could just get a loop. Uh, I, I'm moving my hand like you can see me through the screen. Um, so <laughs> get a, a minecart loop going around the back for restocking shears. So, you know, we'll have station, 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 uh, with the fronts facing outwards, and then just uh, a little bit of space in between them, and then station, 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 station. So we'll have eight going around that way, eight more coming around this way, um, and the backs of each of them will be facing each other. Yeah, that'd be fine, because I can always just put a... Uh a slab on the bottom of the dispenser and mm -hmm. we can reach the dispensers so it just it'd oh, basically no, no, no. Be a double I, I was slab. actually gonna I was I was thinking of uh, putting a hopper into the back of the dispenser and then running a rail over the hopper in a loop so that way all we got to do is run a uh, minecart chest loop over the hoppers to keep them topped off Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. So, so we gotta we gotta figure out how we want to fit sixteen of these guys. Uh, and you, and do you're do we to want to leave this, this here, here and just push the uh, push the acacia forest forward just a little bit, like knock off this back well, row of acacia and. I think the only reason this acacia was here was because uh, it was a convenient space, right? So I mean, I can I can move that later. I mean, I can tear it up now and then relocate yeah. it to a different spot. Okay. Um, let's not relocate the whole force just in case uh, it there was a reason why it was here. But let yeah let let's knock out this uh, back nine here, so well, to speak. I will tell you that because of the way the acacia was planted, the leaves are all growing into each other. So yeah. the leaves aren't going to start disappearing until we cut all the trees down. Um, uh, to a point, because it goes out sixteen. No, less than sixteen. Maybe it is sixteen. No oh, bother. It's been a while since I last looked at that part. Yeah, because we're starting to get some saplings and uh, stuff from over here. Of course, I put silk touch on my axe, so it's not like I can speed up the <laughs> knocking down a... <laughs> yeah. My, my axe has um, silk touch also. But that wasn't something that I put on there. It it came yeah. with it when I enchanted it. No, I, I I went and I went and put it on there. I, I almost always keep a silk touch axe, pick and shovel, and then in a a uh, fortune version of the same. But nine times out of ten, I've almost always got the silk touch version on me at any given point in time. Just because I, I almost always need the silk touch more than I do anything else. Uh, especially now that I'm, I've still got the uh, melon farm as a manual farm, I'm tired of picking up pieces of pumpkin and, or pieces of melon and not getting the whole, the whole thing. All right, did you want the second row done too, or one nah, loot there let's for just now? get this back one out of the way, at least out of the way enough. Because um, these sheep will go, will go as soon into the pens as soon as we get them. Um, but I do want to I do want to uh, color the 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 glass the color of the sheet that's in there just for kicks. Um, we do have the ability to um, we, we have the universal dyeing data pack in there, so we should be able to change the colors fairly quickly and efficiently.
Although, uh, three, six, twelve. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna need almost, uh, si we're gonna need 15 of any given color anyway. Alright, so let me check my color chart. Who's this gonna, the first guy on the left gonna be? He's gonna be dark red. Or red. Um. Yeah, I guess it's just red. Just don't, one more bit just don't buy the brown sheep. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Now, I do had... I did went out and grab another one, and I've been breeding them, and now we have two more brown sheep back here. Okay, good. Good, good. Just in case. Now, the real trick is going to be getting the sheep in here. Yeah, I want to use glass blocks for the enclosure because that allows the grass underneath it to stay grass instead of uh, changing into dirt. And the more grass there is surrounding the block that they're on, the fa the more likely it is to spread, the quicker it'll replenish. Matter of fact, I'll, instead of just instead of putting a trapdoor on top here, I may just throw this glass block on top. And that way we, we've got uh, 16 of each color that we're putting on here. And that's an even, that's a nice round number because we're dyeing them eight at a time. Um, so. If you'll get the red guy in here, I'll, I'll start work on the next, uh, the next one. Uh, let me go grab a lead. I need to go share uh, myself yeah. off some uh, white, brown, and light gray wool so I can run all my redstone. <laughs> Hi guys. About to be a warm summer. Come on, come with medic. There you go. There you go. Come on. Don't make me fall. Oh, 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 you almost caught it. <laughs> don't make you fall or don't make me hurt you. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. All right. Red one's done. Oh, is he too tall? Uh, uh yes. Uh, you'll yeah, you'll have to you have to put a either a trap door or oh or do that. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. Oh, the bed. I brought mine. Don't worry, I wash yeah. the sheets. I left mine over by where I thought we were going to set stuff up. I decided this season I'm just going to dye them all orange like my logo. That way it's hard to <laughs> hard to miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I always tend to do like um, themes. You know, yeah. when I'm when I'm out when I'm out exploring, I tend to take like a uh, a gray with me, you know, because it, it's dirty. Yeah, that's nice when you're doing the, the single player worlds, but when you got, you know, three other people yanking your bed, it, it's kind of nice to be able to go, hey, no, 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 the orange one, that's mine. All right. Um, how much space do you want between these for decoration purposes? Like, do you want to just leave a block in between or two blocks in between? Uh, you'd it would probably be better uh, for just one block. Okay. Um, I have a general idea of what I want to do, but 
it's easier to figure things out with just one block than it is to try to do two or three. Yeah. Okay, I need to go clear some inventory out. <laughs> uh, I'm running into the same problem. The problem is I need about 80% of it for actual crafting. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, lamps, space... Build up or tear down? Uh, build up. Our, our valley over here approaches too soon. Trying to figure out why it didn't uh, actually shear the sheep because it clearly went off because uh, we don't have any shears in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. Okay, okay. All right, so I need one, two, three, four, five hoppers because one of those is going in the hopper minecart. boy is here. <laughs> I heard you were in town for a haircut. Never fear. Here comes the shear. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Starting to reject, regret giving you that joke book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a little light reading every night. Yeah. yeah. Alright, shears are in. Here's a hoy. Yeah, because I'd like to make sure that this works before we get too far in building the rest of them. <laughs> no, I guess I should build up the rest of that redstone first. All right. I need a white wool. That's going to go right there. And I'm going to need how many comparators? I'm going to need one. Two, three comparators. That means I'm going to need nine of those torches. Make three of those guys.
Alright, that's gonna go there. I'm going to Come be on, intriguing him out of the gray wool. That's gonna go there. The comparator is coming off there. It's gonna power that block there. It pulled from that guy there. Did not work. Didn't work? Nope, he ate and it did not shear him. Um, it might also be because, uh, well, no. You don't have the, you don't have the dispenser redstoned. Oh, 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 oh. That should do it. As we sit here literally watching the grass grow. Nope, I can get to them. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, well, he, there's that. nothing for him to eat. It won't, he won't eat until it grows. Okay. So, all we gotta do is wait. The hardest part. I am doing this slightly out of order. I gotta be careful with that. I hope you have the uh, the color wheel. Yes, yes, I do. I, I went. I went. As soon as I realized what I was doing, I went ahead and uh, looked up the the sixteen colors in the right order for Minecraft. So, so that way uh, we don't get ourselves in trouble. Oh. Isn't there a way you can make flint uh, and steel without the flint? No. Uh, hello, Mr. Wandering Trader. Is there any way you could kindly... Oh, <laughs> are, are you kindly telling him to go someplace else. Mm-hmm. Trying not to hit our sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please don't kill the sheep. Especially the brown sheep. <laughs> I, I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't found a um, found a jungle biome so far. I mean, that that has always been tra traditionally, it's been the, the hardest one for us to find on every server. Yeah, I got I got pretty excited when uh, day one Arcadius is running around with bamboo until I found out yeah, he found it in a shipwreck. Oh, I was gonna say because I, I thought he had I thought he had the bamboo. Yeah, he got That's in a shipwreck. Go right That's gonna go right there. This is gonna go right here, and oh, I need one more. Um. 
Alright, so I got the light for the first box, set the light for the second one, set. Why do I feel like there's some? No, no, I got that right, I got that right. Observer and dispenser. <laughs> Actually, if you let's see, if you want to craft up fourteen more dispensers. Okay. We're gonna need yeah, fourteen more dispensers and fourteen more observers. Okay. What am I missing? Oh. Oh? I fell. <laughs> Watch that first step. Taking forever for that grass to grow. Yeah. Unfortunately. There it goes. It's grown back. Come on. Eat you hungry little bugger. Weed at you. Wheat. <laughs> oh, you can try to make him hungry by waving wheat. I, I don't think it works that way. <laughs> there he goes. And it doesn't look like it worked. Uh, nope. Uh... Alright, while you're figuring that out, I will go make more dispensers and observers all right um actually i need iron 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 oh maybe i have this backwards well that's that's gonna make that interesting if that's the case I hear that's a healthy option. As long as you don't answer yourself. <laughs> that's what they keep telling me. That's taking up that block, so I'm not going to be able to put a comparator there. 
Uh, if I pull it out there, I get nothing to grab from there. Unless I do the same basic idea in... Get some red wool out of there now. What did you do? Right, so we definitely get that going there. Uh, I rearranged a little bit of the redstone on the back. the signal there, that does that there, that lights that there, that does not however light that block up there. Do I need that block up there? What if I just do that? Yeah, that works. And that gives me more room to work with that. Okay, I like that. That's simpler. not have enough of. Uh -oh. I'm running out of cobblestone. Really? We get a whole <laughs> bunch in the community storage. Where you at? I, I know. I, I, I may have enough. Let me grab these. There we go. Alright, good. That part's working. Now I just gotta re-hook up the uh, overflow controls. If I do that there, and that there, That's not going to work. Oop. I should probably be sleeping. That seems safer. Okay, so I guess we're not going to build them all today. We'll, we'll get the basic design down. <laughs>
I'm just going to put that there. That's not okay. That's what I thought. certainly do. your definition of working is it producing uh, yes it is producing sweet okay I've got observers and dispensers headed your way that top one's getting powered by that guy right there. Alright. Servers, yeah. dispensers. There you go. I should then be able to do that. And that. And if I do that, I should cut that off. Ooh, I heard some snip snip. Yep. Ah, oh, it's not going to be in there yet. I'm, I'm troubleshooting the lights and the automatic cutoff. Gotcha. Right, um. <laughs> this is what I get for not pulling stuff into the uh, creative test world. I think that'll work. Because right now, alright, so when that second hopper starts picking up stuff, it lights both of them. But that clearly works because, well, we just saw that work. Um, let me break this guy real quick. Okay, I've got to mute myself. I shall be back in a moment. All right. Thanks for the warning. All right. So the idea is this is pulling from that second one. We know the first hopper works because that's that is dead simple. And that's only powering the block next to it, which should only power that lamp that that was working before. That should be working now. What we need to test and make sure is that when that hopper right there starts picking up items that it actually shuts the whole thing off that that hopper appears powered let's do this let's take that throw some of these guys in here oh because that guy's still yeah okay let's throw some more redstone at it Oh, that's going into that guy right there. There we go. That is going to power that guy. not enough power 
to turn off this guy. of this hopper instead. No, I can't because I gotta have something on that hopper anyway. Well, or do I make this just a smidge wider? Do this. get one more repeater no oh, no that's not gonna work um, Because that block is not getting powered. <sighs> so that's getting picked up. That is okay. Of course, that is going to need. I need a stronger signal. Um, right. So if I do that, then do that, then do that. I think that actually worked. That's probably the most awkward way of going about that, though. There's got to be a more compact way of doing that. Hmm. Well, that does appear to be working. So... Top one is starting to pick up items, and we'll go here. Power that. That means it's going to flash twice, although the second time is not going to do anything. It's not going to use any durability, because the shears don't lose durability if they uh, don't actually break something. So we should be able to do this and do this. Get things working again. There's our red wall, there's our stone. We get a brief laid up as it starts filling. Let's make sure that continues to work. As we continue to build stuff just like it. So that's 10 wool right there. I think, I think that'll do it. Sometimes you just can't escape real life. Yeah. I hear you. Alright. Um. That was odd. It said dispenser failed. 
What do you mean? I have subtitles turned on. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, uh, because it's going to fl end up flashing twice with the overflow protection. So the first time will be successful, the second time will fail. Gotcha. Yeah, that last red block looked way too ridiculous standing up there. We'll have to find a different home for it. Because 12 red wool on the bottom, bottom one now, as opposed to the 10 that we had originally. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This wiring, however, is not nice. This is not nice at all. Well, that's why you are the redstone guru and I'm not. <laughs> I don't need that part anymore. I don't think. Yeah, no, because that's going to power that block, which is going to pull and go there. Come on, little sheepy. Eat. I want to make sure I didn't break anything. Don't look at me like that. You know you're hungry. Cold without that wool. I mean, yeah, we're in the plains, but... Come on. Eat. Yeah, I hate that it flashes twice, but there's not too much I can do about that. But everything else seems to be working just fine. Sweet. Solved all the problems in the world. <laughs> so far. <laughs> so far, yeah. Oh, man. Until the next problem arises. Until the next problem arises. So we got red, or dark red and then red, but I think they meant red and pink. Yeah. So this one needs to be the pink. Two of those. If you want to get the pink sheep in there while I finish getting the redstone wired up. Uh, pink next to the red? Yep. You sure pink and not magenta? Uh, well, unfortunately, the color chart just says dark red and red. But it really looks more like uh, red and... Uh, maybe it is magenta. Uh, here. You got pink in front of me. Pink, magenta, purple. Yeah, the pink then. Okay. Because the magenta and the purple are going to go together later. Okay. We need to get our reds. Come on, buddy. Come on. Well, I guess that would have been better if I made my staircase first, huh? <laughs> All right, where'd you go? Come here. All right, so... 
First light, squared. Second light, squared. We come out one. That's going to come down one. There you go. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. And I just need one more repeater. Oh, oh, bad guys. Oh. Bad guys. Get out of here. Somebody else oh, is crap. Lots in our of project. them. Are you kidding me? Excuse me, I feel the sudden urge to have a nice cold glass of milk. Whoa, 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 don't go there. <laughs> Here. Don't go. I wasn't don't going go near, near, near the, the village. village. I wasn't going Here. near the village. There you go. I just milk. have my glass of milk. Do oh, we have okay. A I thought you were. No. I, uh, what, 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 yeah, why I thought why you would were I go in... near... <laughs> No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like Rast? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do need to find a cow, though, so I can fill this bucket up, because I have a funny feeling we're going to get a few more of those before this Here. is done. Here, you do, you do your work. Here's that bucket. Give okay. me your bucket, and I'll go <laughs> fill it back up. <laughs> oh, man. And that's ready for a trap door. Uh... Yeah. I don't think it's worked yet. I'm the one that sheared that sheep when I got them in there. So I don't think it's it's actually worked yet. Yeah, we got four pink wool in here already. Yeah, I, that's the ones that I sheared. No, I don't think it's had a chance to chance to run yet. I don't think the sheepy's actually eaten anything. Yeah, he's about to eat. Come on. I, I know there's all this pressure, but I need you to eat on camera. Are there shears in the dispenser? Oh. Yes. Okay. That was a lot of pillagers. Yeah, uh, that that's the same size that assaulted me earlier, too. I've seen some smaller patrols around this area. Sheep, why do you mock me so? I have made mutton out of less. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Come on. I need to check and make sure this works. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Everything worked. It worked. Sweet. It worked. Oh, man. All right, so that's two down. 14 more to go. <laughs> Honey blocks. Uh, yep. What are they good for besides decoration? They're, they're good for discount slime blocks. And they're also good for animal farms where you don't want the animal to actually move far. Because they can't jump. 
uh, you can't jump on it either. So in other words, if you wanted to actually keep chickens in a one block high fence, um, you, you just put honey blocks at the bottom of it. They also are not a full full block, so you can use them for all sorts of item transportation stuff. And uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. And, and I jokingly say discount slime blocks, but one of the nice things is that honey blocks and slime blocks do not stick to each other. So if you have uh, if you have a um, a machine that requires them uh, two different uh, types of sticky blocks to move past each other, that's a great way to make that happen. All right, what am I looking for? Um, all right, so I need one, two, three, four, five hoppers. Same as the last time. Okay, this um, this single chest over here has our milk mm -hmm. in it. <laughs> uh, does the raid good? Three, four, and the hopper micro. All right. And the fifth one is for the hopper miker. Yeah, and we're going to need to extend this out. Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six stations, and we need two more. We need room for two more. Okay. Just, uh, if you're not going to actually, like, backfill the hole, please make sure you light it up so nothing spawns in that little hole. Well, actually, we, we have, have horror stories of, about that. Instead of blocking it off with dirt and then making this look like two little divots of valley, why don't we just bring the building out and I'll I'll build a uh, structure for it to sit on, yeah, but keep the valley works. like it is. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, we, right. we just need something to to hang there. Six. All right, so red, dark red. I think this is going off of the old color names. Because the next one it says is gold, but it looks like orange. So we're going to go with orange. You just need two, correct? Two, two more spots. Yeah. Uh, we need eight on this side, and then eight are going to be facing uh, flipped on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So just two more. Okay. So that's going to go there. Grab. No good reason. Yeah, feel, definitely. Please feel free to play with the design. Um, once we start getting enough wool of each color, we might, instead of stairs in the glass, just uh, put the color wool as a three, <laughs> three bit stripe across the top. All right, so I've got that filled out to as far down as you need it, and I'll replace blocks as I need to to okay. the, for the design. Compare 
visitors. I'm going to need one, two, three. Three repeaters. And lots of dust. There's one comparator going right there. Get a block, a block. And a block. Blanca, Blanca. That's gonna go out that way there. And the dust. And a repeater. And a dust. And a dust. And a repeater. guys. How you doing? You seriously all gonna stand over here by the gate? Look. Hi. Most of the guys I need. Oh, I have, or I had carpet up there uh, oh. for you just to step in. Where's the carpet? Uh, uh, let me go find it. So I was getting ready this to wasn't there in the corner. get in, but all these guys are pushing up against the gate so hard. Yeah, don't do that. Oops. I didn't want that anyway. I mean, I do, but not right now. Car Carpet incoming. Uh, white and dark gray. No! Oh, carpet up there. There yeah. you go. Thank you. Mm hmm And the red carpet, no less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rather than going back to my... Uh, my little area, I decided just to take, make some carpet out of what we already had. Yeah. Well, as long as it works. And it we can see it better. Goes that way. I need to get grass. I tell you what, this bee farm is really, really taking off. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Yeah, I, I am almost out of storage space again. Well, you know, in the realm of good problems to have. Exactly. Oops. Did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. So that should be one, two, and then three here. Go there. That's gonna go there. That'll go right there. That'll go right there. I need my rail and to actually remember the hopper minecart. Minecart and minecart with hunger. Come on. Oh. 
<laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, <laughs> when one thing goes wrong and the rest soon follow. Y you know those moments I'm talking about. Absolutely. so difficult. remember the components like the observer and dispenser for the sheep ready for the sheep okay this little sheep went to the market this little sheep stayed home Roy red orange yellow That is orange, okay. And uh, I put a set of shears in there for the moment, but we're definitely going to need more. Oh yeah, I've, I've been making them as I go. Okay. Are you going wheat or something? Come on, buddy. He just keeps staring at you. Come on. Look. This way. This is your life now. Stop looking at me like that. This is your life. You get to eat all day long. You'll just be a little breezy. That's all. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm, excuse me. Maybe. Yeah, this just might end up my uh, weekend project. Yeah, unfortunately, today is the last day of my week. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, get the other ones in just a minute. Let me get back to focusing. Oop. That's going to go there. This comparator is going to go right there. This little comparator of mine. I'm going to make it shine. No. <laughs> no? No. No? Not funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Alright, that's going to go that way. This guy is going to go here. And there. Those are going to connect up that way. Right? Yep. You know what I need more of? Brown wool. I hope you guys are back up to snuff. Alright, that'll at least get me through the next one. My kingdom for some brown dye. that back in the orange box. Yeah, I left that back in the orange. You know, for only one sheep, these guys seem to be producing pretty quick. Like, yeah, I they was are. Worried that, I was worried that one sheep wasn't going to be enough. And that we were going to be fussing about, you know, the slow production yield. But uh, <laughs> I, I'm starting to revise that assessment. <laughs> yeah, they're doing I, pretty good. We haven't been at this that long. Myself. That's okay. I'm, um, 
I realize I'm concentrating too much and not talking to you. Uh, yeah, no, it, it's it's one of those things that I'm still I don't know how some of these guys do it. Uh, I don't know how they can focus on what they're doing and and keep yakking away about anything and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay. Good. Yep. Yellow should be set. Yellow. Gotcha. Let me get this stuff in here real quick and step back. See what it looks like. Ooh, that looks okay. nice. It's getting there. Um, you might want to throw some bricks down the middle in the back so it hides a little bit more of the redstone, so you can see oh, less I'm of going it through the cracks. Yeah, I'm actually. I'm going. I want to take yeah. care. Of, yeah, I'll take care okay. of the inside once I get the outside looking the way I want it. Yeah. All right. He said yellow. Yep. You can bring forth old yeller. Except we won't be crying at the end of this one. And I need two trap doors. Oh, it looks dark enough. There we go. Thank you. I hate arguing with the bed about whether or not it's time to sleep. I, I'm old. Let me sleep early. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> All right, come on, Yeller. I'm still good on gray. I'm definitely set on white for the next little bit. Trying to keep an eye on time, too, because, yeah, it definitely doesn't look like we're going to finish this tonight. Oh, and... where'd you go? <laughs> Runaway <Come> sheep. <laughs> <laughs> starting to act like oh. my puppy Jeez. like I know what you're gonna do I know what you're gonna do ha ha there you go there you like go. come on man gotcha. enjoy the easy life all you gotta do is sit there and eat that's it that's your role that's your lot in life all right, got uh, that. wow we got 37 of the red wool already and 31 of the pink and eight orange. Now, now keep in mind, I've already taken some red out to make a uh, make yeah. that carpet. Oh yeah. Oh no that 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 thought that fact isn't lost on me. That we've already used a little bit of it here and there too. Uh, I, I'm just a little surprised that uh, one little sheep is as productive as he is, because I'm pretty sure somebody AFKing. Uh, over near the iron farm should keep this area loaded too. Um, I, I do like having the overflow protection though because uh, <laughs> I don't have that on the iron farm. I don't have an off switch and, and that is mo moderately con disconcerting. But at least these all have a built-in off switch uh, once it backs up to a certain point before it starts overflowing and we have entities all over the place. It'll uh, it'll shut the shears off, so the sheep will keep eating and all that stuff, but he won't be sheared. Not until uh, we start pulling wool out of the system. All right. Um, Speaking of shears, <laughs> yeah. While uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. There we go. All right, this is where I'm going to switch over to the credits real quick and say so long to the people on the live stream. Uh, we, we made a fair bit of progress this go round, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. We got our nice little fun little wool farm, something a little bit different than what you might what you might have seen on other, other builds. A uh, little bit different. We got a nice little two-tier storage lights and fancy stuff and more importantly the automatic shutoff so if you enjoyed what you saw then uh, definitely follow along on Mixer or Twitch whichever you're watching on 
so you'll get notified when I go live. We do Coffee Craft on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also do another show called Games Revisited that I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. The uh, replays and the produced episodes all go up on the YouTube channel, which will be in the description below. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, then congratulations, you found it. Either way, you're definitely going to want to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll get a sense of everything that's going on there. You'll get notified when new produced content gets uploaded. All the stream replays go there too. And uh, definitely, definitely do chat in the comments and all that good fun stuff as well. And uh, with that, I bid you good night. Have fun. <laughs>